Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another GZ Doom tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, 3D floors, because a username Maria challenged me to making 3D floors in GZ Doom. So we're doing this. Oh yes, it's happening. All right, so how do we do this? Well, first, we're actually going to go this way. It always intended for the 3D floors to be this way anyway. So I'm going to do Control shift d and I'm just going to drag out a 30, well, I guess a 32 by 32 uh, rectangle there. And then I'm just going to, oh, let's see how I want to do this. Uh, let's go out maybe that far. And then I'll just drag it out like this. Wait a minute. Is that actually what I want? Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's not make it like super long. Let's do yeah, 416. There we go. Okay. Now, over here on this side, way over yonder, we are going to have a, another room over here. And we're just going to, you know, traverse on over so what we're gonna do is we're just going to put a all right hang on all right sorry i'm trying to think about the best way to do this and all we're gonna do is just drag it out all right it's so perfect now we just need to actually connect all of this up and in order to do that we're just going to create a sector here another sector here and another sector here. You do want to kind of keep your sectors and all your line depths and all kind of to a minimum, but this is good enough. And what we're also going to do is we are going to right click here with our sectors selected and we're going to disable the, uh, we're also going to set the brightness back to 192. Awesome. And I'm going to do the same thing for here. I'm just going to select all of these and set it to, okay, maybe not that, but 192. Perfect. And now I'm gonna select these three sectors and I'm just gonna lower them down to about there. And then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to surfaces and I'm gonna set this to, I'll just type in, Oh, right. We're in the base. We're not in the. Uh... Oh, interesting. Well. We'll be to use two separate ones. You know, what? it's fine. Whatever. OK. I'm fine with the top being that way, but. Let's go on ahead and grab these and then right click. And then go to properties. And for the back texture, we're just going to go to base and we're going to select that and hit OK. Awesome. I'm going to select the floor really quick here and go back into colors. And for the floor glow, oh, wait, hang on. There we go. Just needed to just needed to borrow that really quick. Okay, and I think I'll set the brightness to 112. Give it kind of like a bit of darkness down in there. A little bit of mystery. Although that does kind of make that be a little different. Okay. So, everything is now deselected. Now we can begin with our 3D floor. So I'm gonna select this sector, and then I'm gonna go over to the 3D floor mode. And you'll notice nothing happened, but that's because this lovely little box over here, uh, this manages the 3D floors. So you no longer have to manually deal with the sector tag management and everything else that was associated with 3D floors, which was a total pain, by the way. Um, and you can, you know, much like move in a line def, you can right click to move it and so forth. Uh, I'm just, you can just set this anywhere. You can move it around later. Uh, but we're just going to just 
put it out of the way. Out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. We're going to right click this. We're going to click add a floor. And then for the bottom, we're just going to drag it up to where it's 32 tall. And then we're going to change the floor. Uh, let's go ahead and set it to this for the floor. The ceiling can remain the same, but the edge, uh, see, is there like a concrete or something? Hang on. Ugh. Ah, there we go. That might work. We'll hit okay. And then we'll go in here. And as you can see, oh, right. Yeah. Well, we can change that. No big deal. But we do have a floating 3D floor. And we're just going to right click this, go back in here. And <clears throat> we're actually going to set this because this is our actual floor. And we'll hit OK. And there we go. Oh, and another thing, I'm going to make these particular sectors. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Sector damage. There's a couple different ones here. Just say 16. All right, so now let's load it up just to make sure that it works. I mean, we know it works, but let's go ahead and load it up really quick. I'm just going to zip on over. And we can stand here. Everything is fine. We probably need to adjust the lighting, of course, in this room. Um, you know, it looks kind of weird where it's just, you know, falling like that. But we go down in here. And now we take damage. Quite a significant amount of damage. And we'll go ahead and exit. Okay, so now let's talk about some other fun stuff. So you can duplicate the floor if you like. You can also split, uh, which will split the sectors. You can detach it so that if you have, you know, another sector. So, for example, uh, let's say we, I don't know, we just drew a line here. And now we have two. Select them both. Right click. We see we have two sectors. We can detach. And now, you know, it'll move it over to, you know, another quote unquote 3D sector. But we don't actually want to do that. Uh, we're going to undo that, by the way. Uh, and if you split, it'll split the sectors so that they each get their own uh, control tag. And, you, you know, you can use this to do all sorts of fun stuff. So, for example, we can change this to... Hmm. Let's, uh, let's look for another floor. Ah, here we go. I'll just change it to that. And then we'll hit OK. And then we'll go down in. And we have a different... Uh, oh, wait, hang on. I had those both selected and changed. My bad there. There we go. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, right. Because I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, all right. I want to split that so that they're separate and then hit OK. And now right click and type in floor. And hit OK. There we go. So now they have a completely different uh, texture. And um, that's pretty much it. I am, however, going to fix. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm going to get I'm going to get back into sector mode here. I'm going to set this back to 192 and hit OK. There we go. Looks a little, little less silly, but I mean, there you go. There you have it. That is how you do it. And, you know, you can adjust all sorts of. Uh, Settings, you can also just, you know, hover over like before. So you can, for example, you can lower this so that it goes down slightly. There's a lot you can do with this. You can also slope the 3D floors. Pretty much anything you can do with a regular sector, you can do with this. So it's quite powerful. And that's pretty much it. That That's literally how you make a 3D floor. I'm going to run through that one more time just because I, I quite like my 3D floor. We need to turn on music. It's very dark without music. And then we can fall in here and we just, you know, don't die apparently because I turned off the, uh, I turned off the, uh, poison, I guess, when I undid something. That's nice. 
always super, super nice. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.